This is the speed build for the Master Grade Zeta Gundam Verkov. I've got all the pieces panel line cleaned up and off the runners, so it's time to do the build. Before getting into that, um, this piece is very, very detailed. Taking the pieces off the runners, I realized how many very small, intricate pieces are in there. A lot of it is to help with the transformation part of it because the, um, the, uh, Zeta Gundam does transform into the Wave Runner and just the detail in that, you know, has been put into this model is just amazing. It's not overly designed, but it's perfectly designed. And um, it, for the most case, for the arms and legs, there's a lot of duplicate pieces, but you do need to be careful when taking the pieces off because the runners are very, a bit different. You know, normally when you have a same letter with different number, they're basically the same. They're just, there might be a couple pieces missing on this one. They can be completely different with no pieces that um, match. But on some of them, it looks like they match, but you got to be really careful because, especially with the legs, 90% of the pieces are exactly the same for the legs. There's only a few pieces for each leg that are reflective of either the right or the left, and it could be as simple as just a slight angle on a piece because it's the way it's supposed to fit together. And luckily, you know, in those pieces would be on, like, say, like an E1 and an E2. Luckily, what they did, even though they're on two different runners, they actually did the numbering different as well. Because these larger ones here, if you can, if you can see, they put a dotted line there because you can separate them. They come together and you separate them, which I did. And so you have, uh, you know, like an E1 and an E2. And so just be careful when you're working with those because the number will be, will be different. They won't duplicate a number on the two runners if they are for your left or right, um, side. So they, that, that was good. So I have here the, decals that I'll be using. These are just basically for the cameras and the eyes, the reflective pieces. So I'll be using those to put on while I'm building it. So let's just get right on into this and we'll start with the head.
this was fun to put together. A lot of small pieces, uh, very detailed. You can see how good the color separation is. This isn't anime accurate. This is more if these existed in the real world type of thing. Because that's how uh, Toki does his designs. A little bit more angular. But still, I mean, it's it's really a beautiful piece. And it's, I mean, it's hefty and it's well stiff and stuff like that. Which is good, you know, probably stay stiff for a while because there are no polycaps, so... That about does it for right now, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next one. Thank you for watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.